Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I did not vlog at all last week. We are getting back into it. I just took a much needed break from vlogging last week. I still have a ton to edit. I'm kind of getting the boys breakfast ready and then um, I'm going to do my daily chore of cleaning the bathroom. I've been doing like little random chores here and there throughout the house as I see them, but right now it is breakfast time. So I have an oatmeal today. Breakfast is done, time to clean the bathroom. All right, you guys, the chores are done. So I am about to get myself ready for the day. So the next time you see me, I will not look like this. I will look presentable. And I'm going to go ahead and get the boys started on school while I am getting ready because today's our first bet to finishing up our summer homeschool because we accidentally, unintentionally took July off. But we weren't supposed to. So we'll start the new school year in September, the first week of September, um, probably September 5th because September 4th is Labor Day. So we'll probably start our new school year September 5th, but we're going to finish up our summer school this month in August. So the thing about us, though, is that we didn't take two months off like everybody else. We barely even took, I think, only three weeks off because we didn't even take all of July off. We took like three weeks off in July. So we're still able to like make up that time and start in September. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready and see if the boys are done cleaning their room and done with their chores and then we're going to start school. Good morning, you guys. So I just left y'all hanging yesterday. I tried to edit. Um, it rained last night. We had a little storm. And while I was editing, the computer shut off. And it just messed up all of my progress. And so I was like, I'm done. I'm done. Then we cooked dinner. We had turkey taco bowls. And, um, yeah, I hung out with Brian. We chilled, watched some videos. The boys were also on one yesterday. Y'all could hear them now. I hope today is going to be a better day. But... It is currently 9.51. I wanted to have all this done by 10, but it looks like it's not going to be done until 10.30. I kind of prepped for my chores, so when, once I'm done reading, it's get the boys breakfast, start my laundry, and vacuum, and then get, get ready for the day. But I think I can get ready for the day really fast, and my chores don't take that long. So, yeah, I just need to hurry up. I do want to read every morning before school starts, so I am going to go ahead and do this because I started doing my daily devotional in the afternoons. So now I do my Read and Write the Word and my Gospel Centered Motherhood in the morning. I need to finish that. I didn't realize I've been working on my Gospel Centered Motherhood since June, May. Since the end of May, I've been working on it. And that is out of line and unacceptable. That means I've really been slacking. And that means that's why I'm so easily frustrated and drained out and tired and fed up. So we're getting back into the Word. So I'm going to go ahead and read.
they can record me like you, oh, you are. All right, you guys, kids, I've started on homeschool since I'm already dressed. I just got to do my hair and makeup, and then we'll, me, Bryson, and Ethan, or me, King, and Ethan will head to the, well, Ethan's already in the office. Me and King will head to the office, do homeschool. King's homeschool takes about 30 minutes, and Bryson will finish doing reading videos while I do school with King, and then King will come out here and watch some more um, learning videos while I'm doing school with Bryson, so the morning plan I'm gonna go ahead and get ready all right you guys we have started school I have gotten ready King is just about done with school he has two more books to do Ethan is on math he is writing numbers like spelling it out and then taking it from spelling into yes. digits so I'm about to get Bryson's work ready because once King is done then Bryson comes in here to do his work so. well you need to do the second page then Yes, until you get to the next exercise or lesson, whatever it's called in the skin Bryson's work prepped and also editing. Alright you guys, we are done with school. I am going to put these eggs in the refrigerator or in the microwave in case one will. I'm just going to put them in this for now and then I'll decide if I'm going to put them in the refrigerator or not. But in case one of the boys wants a snack later, they can eat these eggs and have a good, well-balanced snack of fat and protein. Dairy and all this. But I forgot to clean. We just finished school. I also need to do my laundry. Completely forgot I was even doing laundry today. Have y'all tried the Dawn Power Wash? I really like it. Now I need to get Optimus out and do the laundry. He's been inside for a while. Alright, so the boys have leftover taco bowls. I have this leftover barbecue chicken and the rice, beans, and corn from the taco bowls. They have some juice, and I'm going to drink some water. So that's for lunch. I'll see you guys later. I'm about to edit while I eat, so I'll see you later. Good morning, you guys. Today is Thursday the... I want to say the 10th. Today is Thursday the 10th. I'm about to take Brian to work, and then when I get back home, I'm going to do the yard. I will have two hours to do the yard so that we can make it to the library. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the bed fixed and things like that. And then I'm probably going to speed do the yard, so try to get it done really by 9.45, so an hour and 45 minutes. That way I can shower and get ready in about 30 minutes, and we can make it to the library about, about 10.20. We'll see. Y'all know my timelines. Never go as planned, but right now, I'm about to fix the bed, put on my yard cutting clothes, and then I'm going to take some allergy medicine before I take Brian to work. So, I'm going to go ahead and get all that done because I also want to do my Bible study because I missed it yesterday. So, I need to do that as well. Alright, you guys, I'm finally back home. I'm about to start the yard. I'm going to start with the front yard first just in case I run out of time. Or if we don't make it to the library, I'll take them to the park. But, um... Please stop. Move. Yeah, because I already know like it's going to take a while. It always takes me more than two hours. And right now, I have exactly two hours if we want to make it there on time. Yeah, if we want to make it there on time, I have exactly two hours. But like I said, I want to get this done in about an hour. I wanted to get it done in an hour, 45 minutes, but everything took longer than expected. So I have about... An hour 15 minutes for the time rate that I want to get done so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the front yard so let me show you what we're working with this is the backyard and the boys I tell them to clean it at least three times a week and this is still how it looks so <sighs> And make sure they're still, uh, I'm carrying the weed eater. <laughs> make sure there's still gas in here. 
Yeah, still got some gas. So. Enough gas to do the front yard, so I probably shouldn't have to fill it up till we get back to the backyard. And surprisingly, the backyard isn't bad, so maybe it won't take me the two hours. Because I really only have to do this patch here. And I don't think the side of the house is too bad because the sun beats down pretty hard. That's why everything is so fried. Oh, yeah, see, it's not too bad. That way I could just do the weed eater. <sighs> Yeah, so it shouldn't take me too long. And it's the same thing with the front yard. It's just really along the house and stuff like that. So, let's see. So this is the side of the house. It's pretty, pretty ugly right now. So, So I could definitely just spot mow, but I probably won't. I parked our car across the street in case there's any rocks. That's so what the front yard looks like. It just looks, it just looks ugly. Like it just bothers me. So let me just go ahead and get this yard done with. Let me get it done, y'all. All right, you guys. Front yard is now done. I do still need to blow it. I also need to get the shovel and dig that weed out right there because it's ugly. But, um, yeah, I got about 15 minutes till my time that I want it to be done. So let's see if I can get this backyard done in 15 minutes. But front yard is good to go. All right, you guys. Backyard is done. I need to throw that pole away. I need to throw that pole cover away. It is 9.55, so I did it before my goal so um i did pull some weeds that were along the house surprisingly easy and i pulled the weed that was at the front steps i'm gonna go ahead and shower and get ready because i finished just in time to probably finish getting ready by 10 15 10 20 so i'll let y'all know we made it on time today Oh, barely, but we need it. I could be like a couple hundred pounds. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Sea urchins easily go seven somersaults in a row. And little white fish, what does he do? Can y'all do a somersault? Yeah. It's like a cartwheel.
You can take this one too, and then you can find another one. Okay, but you could take both of them, and Mommy will read this one before bed. Just keeps going and going and going and going. This is crazy. Wow. Wow. All right, you guys, we are at the park. A lot of people here. There's a lot of people here today. Oh, I think they're having a party, or there's a homeschool group, or something. It looks like there might be a homeschool group over there. Guys, yeah, see you. They have been begging to come back to this park since I brought them to a few weeks ago. Oh, hi. And how would you get down? How would you get down? I see you. Be careful. you guys wow y'all can't even see my mouth here. all right you guys so just deal with the waves i am currently driving we are heading to taco bell i just met up with my mom and sister the boys had a great time at the park there was like i don't know if there was like that i don't know if that was a homeschool co-op group that was there or what the case was <laughs> It really may have been like a co-op homeschool group, but um, yeah, there's like a lot of kids. There's a lot of people there, and they were all concerned about me and one of the little kids. Not not concerned, but like worried about why I was walking around with the video. The parents were like getting onto the kids about walking in front of the camera, and I'm like, no, it's fine. Like it's fine. Like this is real life. This is what I want people to see. But um, obviously, I'm gonna cut out their kids and stuff, and then. When I was leaving, one of the little girls was like, why is that lady carrying around a YouTube vlogging camera? And I was like, oh, look at her. She knows I'm a YouTuber. I mean, I guess she just couldn't believe that somebody my age would be a YouTube vlogger. But I'm just like, baby girl, don't you know everyone my age invented this? <laughs> but yeah, we are heading to Taco Bell right now. So I will see you guys once we get there because I'm pretty sure y'all are tired of seeing all the little waves and stuff so 
the thing is though is like i can't tell if it's from like the screen shaking or if it's like the actual lens and then you guys see the lens and my hair is getting big just like i like it the more that it dries so yeah open this for the boys the boys like when this is open yay oh look and you can see me better so yeah, we're heading to Taco Bell right now. Oh, and then we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby and Mardell's. I guess my mom wants to find some stuff for her office at work. And I'm just gonna kind of browse the curriculum. I kind of think I'm doing easy peasy this year. This is exactly why there's Rex right here. Nobody knows how to work a four-way stop. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, I kind of, I feel like I'm definitely going to be doing easy peasy this year. Just because it keeps track of everything for you online. But also I need to kind of update who's doing what. Because we're starting our new curriculum next month and I just don't think Ethan's ready to move on to the next math level. And that's okay, that's the beautiful thing about homeschool. I'm not forcing him to move up to a spot where he's not ready to be. So yeah, I will see you guys once we get there. The whole thing here. Mama, my sister, all the kids. Oh, what's that? Flaming Fritos. I think I'm about to get this. Let's go see my cousin's new car. Excuse me. Oh, she fancy, huh? She, she fancy, fancy. She thought she got that push to start. Uh-huh. I can tell this is touch screen because she got her fingers all over it. Aren't you going to talk to them for a little bit? We are at Mardell's now. We had lunch. Lunch was good. We cleaned up. And now we're here at my girls for my mom to find some stuff. Ooh, look, they have journals, but I have plenty because Raquel keeps buying them for me every gift she buys me. I tried being a planner girly for the last two years and I quit after September. <laughs> so I only start one at the beginning of the school year. Oh, get in there. We're not buying anything. Maybe not. Why don't we get some school stuff? Because I'm waiting until this weekend. Why this weekend? Because it's packed for the weekend, man. Eh? Jeez. There's no financial business I Say hi.
can't vlog and push. Alright. Do you want me to push? It's okay. I got you. I'm gonna push my baby. Okay. Ethan, you're supposed to be holding on to the basket. Oh, this is cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're separate. Margaret, my one. Margaret? Oh, look, Margaret. Oh, still expensive. Still $12. Can I get a journal about, like, science stuff? I don't know if they have one here, Ethan. So this is usually where I get the boys homeschool curriculum, in, like I said, here at my bells. I've seen, I have used this for Bryson and I really love this. I don't know what company it is, this company. I really, really love this for Bryson. I have used Christian Liberty Preschool for Bryson. I really like it. I've wanted to try the Horizons, but the Horizons is expensive. So for one book, the Horizons is 27 but this is what we did. Good morning, you guys. Today is Friday the 11th. Um, no makeup. My hair is up, up in a clip. So today we are going to be reorganizing that entire side of the house. I'm going to rearrange every single room. So let me just show y'all so that way y'all don't get confused because my sister was confused. Okay, so this room is currently the guest room. This will now be the boys' room. This room is currently the office. This will now be the guest room. And this room is now the boys' room, and it will now be the office because we need more space for homeschooling and stuff like that. So I am going to go ahead and do all that. I am going to film it, but it's going to be in a separate video. It's going to be its own video. Because I'm also going to be cleaning out every single closet. This is a guest closet. Um, obviously the boys' room. The only thing that's going to really take long is that in order to move this bed, I'm going to have to take the entire thing apart. Like, there's no way to get it through that door frame. I don't even think if I took the door off the hinges would it fit. So I'm going to have to take that entire bed apart. Um, before I start though, I am going to go ahead and get today's video uploaded. I was a little bit concerned about the internet because with not this room not being the office, I'm not going to be able to hardwire the internet. If that makes sense. Because I have a really long cord. I mean, I could try. It is a 20-foot cord. So maybe if in that room over there, I put the computer on this wall, maybe I could run the cord. I might be able to do it. We'll see. But I was really concerned about that. So, yeah, I am going to go ahead and get... Um, today's video up though first before I start doing anything. Boy was like messing with everything up here. But yeah, so that is the plan for today. I got the batteries on deck. Um, we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing a lot, a lot. Um, 
I am going to do everything in time lapse. I might slow it down a little bit once I get it into the computer. Right, I asked the plan for today. This is probably two or three days worth of work. I'm going to try to get it all done in one. So, I'll see you guys once it's done. I hope that makes sense. I'll show you guys everything once it's actually done. There's going to be a lot of moving around, a lot of taking things apart and things like that. But before I started, I really wanted to get today's video up. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that, you guys. Good morning, you guys. Today is August the 12th. I kind of left y'all hanging yesterday. It took me all day to do the boys' room. All day. Literally, like, when I say all day, I mean all day. But um, right now, I'm about to batch make some pancakes for the boys, and then I will show y'all the rooms once I'm done. I just use the Kodiak box, and I make the whole entire box, and then we can freeze them, and then they'll have pancakes for the whole week. So let's start making these pancakes. yourself do you really think it's gonna help if you always fight in yourself trying to forget how you felt just take a look at yourself can't even be your own friend because you're always just stuck in your head how do you think it's gonna end? nothing that they could do nothing that they could say nothing that they could do to take all the pain Alright you guys, it is not, oh, look at those bruises. I have no idea where those came from. I also have two nasty bruises on my leg right here. Probably cleaning and hitting myself on something, but um, it ended up making 21 pancakes. Mind you, that was a whole box, like one of the smaller boxes. Ended up making 21 pancakes. I used a one-third cup measuring cup, so it made 21. The boys ate seven of those already, so there's only 14 left. So they have about a good three days worth of pancakes now so i'm just going to leave these here i put parchment paper between them so when i freeze them they don't stick together but yeah anyways i'm about to eat my mango about to put some tahini and chamoy on them oh let me show y'all the, the rooms that way i can just be done i also got a braid bryson's hair today so i'll probably do that after i eat Anyways, this is how their room turned out. I think it's the perfect size for them. They didn't. Why are there scissors in here? And what were y'all cutting up? Um, Ethan framed it in here. Brock. Brock. 
Can you cut this up? Don't you? Can you push your drawer in? Yes. Yeah, I like doing that thing. I'm not doing that thing. Yeah, I like, I'm not doing that thing. Hmm. What? This is the guest room. So their toys are in here because remember I told you they were grounded for a little bit from toys because they didn't want to keep their room clean. Um, these, um, I'm selling all of these decorations. These decorations, I want to find more like this and hang them up in here because I just want like neutral decorations so that way they always match whatever bed spread I put on. Ready to do it and now this is more so, or this is the office. I really like how it turned out, so my little workstation is over there. Brian and I want to get a futon or some kind of couch. Get a, quit following me and go to your room. Some kind of couch and put it on that wall so that when we have more guests than what fits into the guest room, we, they could just lay that out. And then we got a little... Workout section going on. I always fold up the bench because it doesn't take that long to put back together. You just stick some pins in there. That's the workout section. And then this is pretty much empty. I do want to buy like one of those like big old like plastic mats and get Brian a barber chair. So that way he doesn't have to always do house calls. And then like when we do school, I could buy like a little square table, like a square foldable table and like some stackable chairs. So we could put it up every day because I did clean out all the closets. So if we buy like a little square foldable table, I can put it in here. Y'all, I'm so proud of the closets because if y'all would have seen them before, they were insane. Like my house looks clean, but it's because everything was in a closet. Oh, I'm also getting rid of that printer. So yeah, so it's just all of our extra blankets and pillows. And then our vacuum, and then up there is just like games and stuff. Yeah. Really happy with how everything turned out. I'm about to eat my mangoes, and then I'm gonna braid Bryson's hair. And I'll probably let y'all see that how I braid it. All right, you guys. I ate my breakfast. Y'all know I'm not the biggest breakfast fan. So now I'm about to start Bryson's hair. I'm going to show y'all what I use real quick because I'm going to do a time lapse of me doing his hair. So first things first, I'm going to blow dry his hair. Raquel got me this for my birthday and I use it so freaking much, not only on myself, I use it for Optimus, I use it for when I braid the boy's hair. So I got this heat protectant because I am going to blow dry his hair and then this is a mixture of vitamin E oil jojoba oil and rosemary oil and some other oils and then I'll put this on his scalp when I'm done and then this is the pomade that I use this is just the flawless by Gabrielle Union pomade and I use this to keep the braids in place I need to buy some mousse but I'll probably do that this week and his hair will usually last for about like two to three days if he sleeps with his bonnet on and all that stuff and doesn't pull his hair out so there was a way that we saw Bryson stop. There was a way we were watching um, 85 South show and DC Young Fly had his hair braided a certain way and I'm going to do Bryson's hair that way. So let's go ahead and get to it. Ways of top of the year. Lately, we've been real unsure and clear. Is it just me? Where do you go when you disappear? Tell me your secrets, you got my ear. Room to assume is feeding my fears. Don't wanna be for me any closer. Can we start over? Don't want nobody but you. No matter what we go through, keeping it between us two, me and you, can we survive the distance? Times 
are going like years away uh, more it will grow the more we delay i'm just hoping it isn't too late what can i do sorry if it's a little cliche i know we're supposed to live in a gray leave it to chance or leave it to fate but i'm missing you pull me in closer can we start over No matter what we go through, I stay true. But can we survive the distance? Don't know what we're missing. But there is a space between us. And I know healing ain't instant. But can we survive the distance? Natural, stay in your bag like you wearing satchels. Hey, baby, you a guy saying, guy saying, guy saying, just missing the sandals. But still, you ain't missing much. Put your hands on my back, just a different touch. But your to my plate, I don't skip the lunch, I don't skip the brunch, not the dinner neither. And we hella close, not a centimeter. Getting in between is all you two turned up. Never turn down though, when it's big energy, when I come around though. So, 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 don't ever switch. Know you've been looking, won't find it like this. Know you've been looking for the head of them curves. I'm Jimmy Johnson with this, huh? I'm Jimmy Johnson with this. That I attest, I'm like running it. Just like a last woman, I run. Whatever you need, I'm trying out the line with the. D- uh, turn on the lights, take a flick. Uh, just don't be running this shit. Hey, I can see you as my chick. Nah, I can see you as my. You keep it natural, stay in your bag like you wearing satchels. Hey, baby, you a guy saying, guy saying, guy saying, just missing the sandals. But still, you ain't missing much. Put your hands on my back, just a different touch. But your to my plate, I don't skip the lunch. I don't skip the brunch, not the dinner neither. And we hella close, not a centimeter. Getting in between is all you two turned up. Looking like art, that's masterpiece. Making say unlike masterpiece. You should name yourself after me. Don't nobody really want you bad as me. If you walk away, that'd be sad to see. But if you play stay, baby, have a seat. On my f- every day, in Any day, every time, all the time, in my mind, summertime, dinner time, I just wanna see you cross the finish line, uh, feeling like Jimmy, I give you this Johnson, know you like filming that content, all in your bank and I never pull out, I just like making deposits, yeah, you keep it natural, stay in your bag like you wearing satchels, hey, baby, you a guy saying, guy saying, guy saying, just missing the sandals, but still, you ain't missing much, put your hands on my back, just a different touch, put your to my plate, I don't skip the lunch, I don't skip the brunch, not the dinner neither, and we hella close, not a centimeter, get in between is all you two turned up never turned down though when it's big energy when i come around though so 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 don't ever switch know you've been looking won't find it like this know you've been looking for the, the head of them curves i'm jimmy johnson with this Independent, I be loving how you winning. I just wanna go catch your vibe. Ayy, wanna see you in the daytime and not when it only get dark outside. Ayy, type of love I can't hide. Ayy, maybe wanna blow your line. Ayy, you don't finish your line. Ayy, I never wanna blow your high. Look, baby, what's on your mind? I really wanna see your face. Baby, come through and slide. Spend the night at my place. Asking what's on my mind. Wondering how it tastes. Maybe wanna press rewind. Give me that double take. That's on my mind, 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 my there we go. So this is how his hair came out. 
It looks super good. This braid I, is too skinny. I can't get it to lay flat. Maybe it's the way I twisted it. I don't know. Yeah, I can't get that braid to lay flat. It'll eventually do it. And then Brian's going to come home and like line this up and stuff. So look down. Yeah. Well, don't look down now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm super happy with it. But that is the end of this vlog, you guys. I love you guys. I remember that Jesus loves you more. I hope that if this is your first time watching my videos, that you stay with us and join my little YouTube family. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Trying to catch a vibe, pick a song when I'm with it. Girlfriends calling your phone, you should miss it. Why you acting tough when you know you submissive? Calling your bluff on the road, ain't switching. Ring a doorbell in the rose game with it. And if you really with it, yeah, rose game with it. It's so sweet, pack a honey still drip.